In this video, I want to show you how you can convert a Power Apps table into a Power Apps string. Or converting a table to a string. Why are we going to do that? Well, if you have a table inside Dataverse or a SharePoint list that one or more of the fields are choice, that by accident there can be multiple values inside that choice field. In this case, if you want to present that field inside a data table and bring it to the screen, you get some weird errors. Because data table only can display string. You may want to do the same thing on a gallery. Yes, you can use one gallery inside another gallery to handle the second table. But if you can convert that to string and show it in a label, that's going to be much cleaner. And in this video, I want to show you both of them. To show you the problem that we want to attack in this video, I already created a list inside SharePoint and I called it Products. And it has a list of products with their categories and unit price. Imagine this is a product list for an online shop. I get the URL of this guy and I already created a Power Apps app that has only one screen without any connection. It's just a blank app. So I click on the data and I add data and I search for SharePoint. I pick the SharePoint connector and I just paste the URL here and I click on connect. And here I will see the products list and I say connect. I have the products here. Let's see if I can display the content here. There we go. I come here and I search for data table. I add it to the screen. I expand it. And I need to pick the products list. As soon as I add it here, you will see that this guy is not very happy. Let me just save it and run it and see what you will see here. Yes, you will see only the object object and that's it. So it doesn't show you anything more than that. And if I click on it, it says this item, that category, and it says expected text value while category by itself is a table. There we go. So the challenge that we have here, we need to convert this table to text that our data table expects. Then whatever we do, we will extend it to a gallery. The magical function in Power Apps that converts table to string is concat. Concats accepts a table or an array and returns you a string. But let's see how it works. Imagine you have a table, and I call it table one. It has one, two, three fields with some values inside it. Concat accepts the table, takes some expressions, and in this case, I try to make it as simple as possible. So I just pass the field name, and then the third parameter is going to be a separator that says, OK, give me the table. Let me know which field you want to convert to string. So it reads every single value and separates them by the separator that you provide. So you will get something like this as a string or text that you can work with it. All right. And feel free to take it to the next level and put more complex expressions for the second parameter of this formula, something like this. If I put field one and field three, I'm actually concatenating field one, which is A1 with a value in field three. So the result of this concat is going to look like this. A11, B12, and so on and so forth. Hey, that's great. If this is the case, let's do it. So I come back here. Instead of just category, I go in the beginning and I say concat. The first parameter is going to be the table, which the category value is the table, I would say comma. The expression that I have, it's just one single array of strings. So I can simply use this record dot value. Keep that in mind. When we use this item, it refers to the control. When we use this record, it refers to the formula. And finally, we need to provide the separator. And the separator I want to put, for example, comma and space after that. And I can close the bracket. And if you haven't pushed that like button yet, well, this is the time. And that's it. We got it. Let me just run it. Boom. It works. Now, 
let's add a gallery and see if we can play the same game with a gallery. Now, when it comes to gallery, we have a little bit more options here. Let me just add a gallery here. Okay, I add a vertical gallery, for example, and I pick products here. All right, let it run, and I just set the layout to maybe title and subtitle. Hopefully, it's going to give us the title and the unit price. And now, if you want to add the category to the same thing, we can do it slightly different. So let me just expand the first cell here. Okay, so we have room. And let me make these two smaller a little bit. There we go. Okay, now if I want to display the category here, one simple option is just while the cell is selected, I just add another text label here inside this, just like before. Make the size a little bit bigger, maybe 15. Make this guy a little bit larger. And just like what we did here, I can say categories. And because category is table, again, we can use our magical function, which is concat, open the bracket, and pick the expression, which is going to be this record dot value. And I want to put my separator. This time I want to put semicolon space, maybe. And I close the bracket. And as you can see, it pops up here. Now, is there any other option? Yes, when you're inside a gallery, you have multiple options. So another option to take care of that category here, because we know it's a table, inside this cell, we can always squeeze another gallery, although it doesn't look nice. But yes, this is another option. So let me just add a gallery. And this time I want to add horizontal gallery. That's going to be a little bit ugly, but that's OK. We deal with it. And for the layout, I just need blank, maybe. All right. Now we can make it a little bit smaller and squeeze this guy here. Oh, gosh, I hate that. First, I need to get rid of the items. So the items here this time are coming from category. And as you can see, this guy is showing me the categories here, if I just add a label. So let me just remove this guy. And inside this cell, I can add a text label. And this text label should give me the value that I need. So let's say this item dot value. As you can see, it doesn't look as good. So let me just run it in the big screen. So this is one option that it's nice and clean using concat. It puts the words together as a string and displays it nice and tight. Here, because it's a gallery inside another gallery, it has its gallery nature that puts a fixed space and becomes scrolling and all those stuff. I'd rather go with this one than this one, but at the end, choice is yours. You have both the options when it comes to a gallery. And here is the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.